Hello and welcome to the another video. My name is Ram. Today we are going to discuss about the hostname resolution in Linux. How that uh, how is that works? We will be discussing about slash etc slash host files. We will be discussing about slash etc slash resolve dot con file. We will be discussing about slash etc slash ns switch ns switch dot con file and we will be discussing about the slash etc slash named dot con file okay first understand the dns concept right so what is dns dns stand for domain name system which convert ip to host name host name to ip just like the vice versa okay Let's suppose you have google.com, right? And that google.com website is hosted on one of the server. Definitely that server would have the IP address. But we cannot remember IP address of each and every website server, right? So for that, we have a system called DNS. So whenever you will type the www.google.com, the DNS will resolve that it will find out what is the IP address of that server and that request would be sent to that particular server and that server will respond with all the queries. Okay. So what is the need of this less ETC and host? Let's suppose we have two server, right? One is NTP server and second is my server. Okay. So let's first check whether we have the host file on both of the server. Yes, definitely. It is here as well. Let me check on slash etc hosts file. Okay. So on both of the server, we have the host files with the sum of the contents. And let's suppose if I ping right to each other, let's first get the IP address of the both of the server. Okay. So this server has this IP and this server has this IP. Okay. Let me ping vice versa. If I ping from NTP server to this my server with the IP address, it will successfully pinging and res getting response, right? Acknowledging message. So seven packet received, so zero packet loss and successful wor working. If I am going to ping from this IP from this server, that should also work, right? Okay great it is working perfect now let's talk about the host name let's suppose i have the host name and here is the host name what if i ping from here rhel server right so it is saying no we don't have any kind of the name or service let me try with the this server ntp server it is saying no okay so at this moment this is my demo environment so i don't have the dns server right so how i can make the resolution of the name server to ip and ip to name server so first you have to look at this file get slash etc ns ns switch okay and grab with the host okay so if you will see on this file right host files dns and my host name what this entry say valid database are aliases either group zero and host right so these this files is contained right name server <coughs> name server uh, system right database configuration files is contained so this file tell us the systems that whenever if you want to do any kind of the name resolution just like the ns lookup we are doing dict we are doing with the any of the server then how it is resolving right so first it's saying that first you have to check with the files files means slash etc slash host so first the system will look into this file whether the appropriate entry is available or not okay if 
the system doesn't find any kind of the entry here in slash etc host then system next try to find into the slash d uh, dns right so for that what it do it goes to resolve.com okay and in this resolve.com file what we do we mention the name server name server means just like the one of the dns server entry so by default in this in this server this is the amazon ec2 instance and this is the default name server from where the name internal name resolutions is being done right just like the hostname.apsout1.compute.internal okay so <coughs> at this moment i don't have any any kind of the name server okay so we will be rely on this less etc host only but yeah definitely in the uh, one of the it organization or company there would be definitely a dns server and that dns server will have the each and every systems dns records right just like a record right so mx record and whatever records are there are different different types of records okay so that dns server will have all the detail of all the it infrastructure servers and all that but right now we don't have so we will be relying on this less etc host third third option is my host name right so what it does it check let's suppose this option this is just like a, we can say just like a plugin right or module base so it resolves just like we don't have any kind of the entries in the slash etc or uh, resolve.com but if i do with the my host name right just like this is for the local name resolutions ping my server if i do this right but i have doesn't uh, made any kind of the entry sorry my just a moment my sir well uh oh sorry but it should work generally oh i have changed the name okay so this is the host name and if i ping right rhel server so it is successfully getting pinged right so this is for the local name resolution automatically it is solving their uh, local name resolutions okay <coughs> so earlier as we have discussed that we are able to ping the vice versa server right using the ip address but with not with the host name let's make entry of each host into each host slash etc host file let's suppose what is the host name okay what is the ip address i name okay so this is the host name and this is the ip address so let me make the entry in slash etc host file okay set g item o okay first i will put the ip address of this server and the host name okay okay now let me try so now this server know the, the name of this server right so if i type here ntp server it is successfully because this server has the entry or the local database right that if someone is typing ntp server then to which ip it has to resolve so it is successfully resolving to this ip address okay great now now let's come to this server let me do the same for this one okay so this server has this ip address but at this moment if i do rhcl server then it will say no i don't know who are you right so let's make entry into slash etc host go to the end of the file and make a entry right sorry it is not copied rhcl server save and exit now run again yeah successfully it is working fine okay <clears throat> here so we have discussed about slash etc host it's keep the local database of the it infrastructure as much as server you will have to make entries here right in slash etc of the ease host file 
just like we have five servers so each and every servers details should be in each and every servers until unless that entry is not present there you would not able to ping that server using the name server right so that is use of the etc host okay second as i discuss that what is the use of slash etc resolve.com right so let's suppose you have a very big infrastructure and you don't want to make the entries in each and every server right because that is very pathetic task just let's suppose if someday some server's ip has been changed right then you will have to go to each and every server and will have to change manually into each and every server right which, which takes a lot of time and we don't have that much of time right so for that what we have done we have created right just like the engineers not we both of us right but the engineer has created a dns system a centralized system database which will have the all the detail of the each and every servers host name and ip address right what you have to just it work as just like the forward forward uh, forwarder right just like the if this server is asking that who are you just like the if i ping xyz.com right xyz.com so that entry should be available into the dns and it will first check into it is host if it doesn't find it will go to resolve.com and ask to this server right do you have this entry if that server has the entry it will fetch the entry and it will give to this right so this is the use of this resolve.com okay so till now we have discussed about slash etc slash host files slash etc slash resolve file and as the next comes to the as uh, one of the uh, one of the person uh, asked me to make a entries or the make a video on the slash etc slash named.com okay so let me first check whether the named.com file is there or not okay name.com file is not there okay so first let's understand that what is this name.com and how it will come right named.com okay so this named.com is a part of bind package right and bind package is used for the dns okay so let me install first bind yum install bind okay sorry typo oh again sorry yum install bind it's getting installed just a moment let's wait yes i want to do that great it is getting installed perfect we don't need now to serve us okay now if i check and a md named named dot con file okay great now the configuration file has come so what is this bind package is used for so this bind package is used for the dns right if you want to configure the dns on the linux system but based on my experience right in the most of the it company you would find a dns server on the windows system because that is easy to manage on the windows system right okay but however let's suppose you have very big infrastructure just like a google and if you want to create any cache only right cache only a cache c a c h e don't go on my pronunciation because i'm from rajasthan so there is some variation in my sir sir so leave it okay cache server just like this so what happens let's suppose if we go into slash etc named.com right and here if you will see right let me allow query right so what at this moment we have written here as a local host but you can mention here as a any as well but you know that uh, let's suppose if i do dig www.google.com 
so it is saying one millisecond right and if we configure the value in this right uh, where it is wrong here any so what happens it will cache right into the local system on this system only so whenever let's suppose this time it has taken the one millisecond right and if you have enabled this bind or the local dns cache only then what it would make a cache entry of this right this thing so it will directly not go to the another dns server and it will ask right because it has asked to this dns server rather than it going to directly on this server it will locally check on the client itself whether if you have entry then it will fetch and will give to you so that is the use of that but most of the time i didn't have seen just like the that dns server is configured on the linux system because on the windows it is easy to manage because you have to create a create and manage the a lot of records each and every day right some have to delete and so that's easy to put that's all about the this configuration and the name resolution on the uh, linux based systems if you have any query please let me know in the comment and i will get back to you on that that uh, what is the relevant answer on that thank you for joining me hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please share with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you for joining me have a nice day bye bye